Whenever you study any subject, the first thing you need is a good definition. So let me define what is personal Bible study. The first thing I would suggest is that Bible study is methodicalness. That is, it involves taking certain steps in a certain order to guarantee a certain result. Not any steps, not any order, not any result. And in our course, we are going to concentrate on three basic steps in Bible study. First, observation. That's where we ask and answer the question, what do I see? The second step is interpretation. And there, I ask and answer the question, what does it mean? The third step is application. And there I ask and answer the question, how does it work? You cannot reverse these steps. Good observation always produces excellent, accurate interpretation. And unless you have accurate interpretation, then you have illegitimate application. So bear these steps in mind as we work our way through the course. Method is not only methodicalness, it's methodicalness with the view to becoming receptive and reproductive. The best illustration is human conception. You have a male sperm, you have a female egg, neither of which is capable of conception apart from the other. It is not until a male sperm penetrates the female egg that you get conception. You show me a man or a woman who is good in public ministry, and I will always show you a person who is strong in personal ministry. In other words, what happens in the pulpit or in the lectern is the result, it's the product of what happens in the study. So what we need to understand is that if we really want to communicate the Word of God to our generation, we're going to have to spend more time alone in the study, following a logical, intelligent, helpful process. And that's what this course is all about. There's no greater joy than the joy of conveying the truth which God has revealed in his word. But there's a third aspect to the definition. Method is not only methodicalness with the view to becoming receptive and reproductive, but it's always by means of firsthand acquaintance with the word. And there are four reasons for this. First of all, it will enable you to think for yourself. Most people do not think. They merely rearrange their prejudices. They simply echo what they have heard someone else say, but they don't have the conviction that comes from personal Bible study. Secondly, it will enable you to evaluate the thoughts of others. I pick up a commentary. The commentary gives this interpretation. I decide maybe I should read another commentary. Bad decision, because the other commentary contradicts what the first one says. Now what do I do? Do I simply toss a coin in the air to make a choice? No, it's my personal Bible study that enables me to evaluate what I have read in both of these commentaries. 
and to see in one there is some truth, but they miss this. In the other, I get the full balance. The third reason for personal Bible study is it will give you the personal joy of discovery. Why is it that more people don't get excited about teaching the truth? They're embalmed by the truth. It's because, frankly, they have never seen the truth for themselves. And the fourth reason why you need Bible study is that it will enable you to fall in love with the author. You cannot fall in love by proxy. It's an intensely personal event. And that's why Paul said, eye has not seen nor ear heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those that love him. Just think of it. God wanted to communicate with you in the 21st century, and he wrote his message in a book.